then uh, we turn the master switch on. We've uh, put the flap switch uh, down, and we're checking the uh, fuel quantity uh, gauges to make sure that we've got a uh, reasonable amount of fuel for the flight we're going to take. If we're on a cross country, obviously we want it to be full. Now we're checking the gauges operations too because we're going to do a manual check of of the fuel in each wing as well. Um, then we'll go ahead and uh, check the uh, exterior lights and uh, so we'd uh, go ahead and turn that while we have the master switch on we go ahead and check and make sure all the lights are working. So you'll, uh, you'll have uh, a uh, red light on the uh, port wing and a green light on the starboard and usually a white light uh, uh, visible from the tail. And uh, sometimes your wing lights will be combination. They'll have both red and white. Uh, you only have to be able to see the white light from the rear of the aircraft. And then I usually check the uh, night lights also to make sure they're working, uh, particularly during a, a night flight, you're going to need to make sure those landing lights are working. So we'll take those off for now. Then we'll go ahead and uh, turn the master switch on. And while we're in there, we're just going to go ahead and grab the fuel drain tool. Now, that's important because we need to check the fuel. And uh, in order to do that, we need the drain tube so that we can drain a little bit of fuel out of the tanks and actually inspect it for water. Uh, sometimes you'll uh, find water in there, and that's not a good thing. Uh, engines don't uh, run real well on, on uh, water, so we'll be inspecting for that. Um, so we went ahead and we've gone and we've, uh, we've checked the prop. Now I usually go around the aircraft to this side, go ahead and check the oil. Uh, there's a little uh, opening here. We'll just go ahead and open that up and check the oil and make sure it's uh, up there. It's like a dipstick on, on a car. Uh, and so we want to make sure we have uh, all the oil or within the reasonable uh, limits of the aircraft. Uh, these are air-cooled engines, so there's no uh, uh, antifreeze to look at, but we will check the brake cylinder to make sure there's uh, brake fluid at the proper level while we're in there. And we'll go ahead and close and lock that. And then uh, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and check the... Uh, Aircraft around, we'll uh, check the vents at the top of the wing, and then we'll walk along, the, and everybody should be able to hear me. We'll walk along just checking the leading edge of the wing for any dents. Uh, same thing along the uh, trailing edge of the wing. We'll look, uh, we'll grab onto the ailerons, and we'll move those up and down and check the uh, bolts. Uh, make sure everything is secure. We'll check the flaps. Um, we'll also uh, uh, check the linkages on the flaps to make sure they're uh, secure. You should have just a tiny bit of free play in the flap. Um, and then while we're standing, we'll open the luggage compartment. Just make sure that that door is uh, secure. We'll shut it again and lock it if we've got all our bags in there. Um, we're going to check the uh, left side of the uh, or the port side of the fuselage to make sure there's no dents. And uh, then we're going to look down at the brakes and make sure that there's no leaks. Uh, so we'll check the brake line for leaks. So we'll make sure that the tire pressure is appropriate. Um, follow along. Uh, I forgot to mention the uh, pitot tube. We we would remove the pitot tube cover uh, at this point as well. This one on my aircraft goes off automatically when you start the engine, so we won't be worried about taking that off here. Um, so then we'll uh, walk along the rear of the aircraft. We'll check the static sources. 
to make sure that they're not plugged up because uh, that's what the uh, altimeter and airspeed uses as a differential pressure. So we want to make sure, and those are little round uh, looking devices with a hole in the middle and they're small but you can you can spot them. I'm going to check and make sure that the elevator is working properly. I'm going to move it up and down. This is also to verify that the control lock is off. Hang on a second. <laughs> 